Hello kids, how are you? Hope you all are having a good time. I wish you health and wellness. Myself Komal Kaur Sethi representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota. Children, today I am here to teach you English grammar. In this, today we will revise chapter 5 adjectives, chapter 6 comparison, chapter 11 has, have, had and picture reading. Children, first we will revise chapter 5 adjectives okay so open your book take out page number 20 okay so what are adjectives the words that tell us more about nouns are called adjectives or describing words so children what are adjectives revise it properly the words that tell us more about nouns are called adjectives or describing words Words we, words which we use are warm, light, small, big, thirsty, smart, intelligent, pretty. These all are adjectives. Okay. Now let us see through some examples. So example one is it is a warm day. So children here adjective or describing word for a day is warm. Okay. So how is the day? Day is warm. Adjective here is W E R M warm. Okay. Now look here. The bottle is red in color. Look here, this bottle, you can see this is red in color. What is the color of the bottle? It is red in color. So children, this shows us that color also describes noun, okay? The bottle is red in color. Adjective for bottle is Red, okay. Now, children, our next, next example is there are eight vegetables in this tree. Look over here. We can, we, we will count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. How many vegetables are there? There are eight vegetables in a tree. There are eight vegetables in a tree. So children this shows us that quantity or number also describes noun. Okay. So how many vegetables are there in a tree? Eight vegetables are there in a tree. We have seen, okay. Now children, here you can see clock, okay. You can see clock. What is the shape of the clock? Clock is round in shape, okay. So I will write it here. The clock is round in shape. So children this shows us that shape of the noun also describes it. Okay. So here round describes clock. Okay. Adjective for clock is round. Okay. Now children here look here this is a huge teddy bear. You can see a soft huge teddy bear. Okay. So we'll write sentence for it. Sentence for this is I have a huge teddy bear. So, so adjective for teddy bear is huge. Okay. How is the teddy bear? It is a huge, it is a huge 
teddy bear okay so adjective for teddy bear is huge okay so children now I would like you to tell one more thing take out page number 21 so children adjectives do not have plural forms look here there is a yellow box over here adjectives do not have plural forms this means you can not write tall as tolls big as bigs beautiful as beautifuls okay children now we will revise book of book work of this chapter take out page number 20 first we will revise question a fill in the blanks using suitable adjectives so children you have to fill blanks using suitable adjectives and some adjectives are given to you in this box okay let us see what adjectives are given fresh hungry new hot strong okay number one the dash cat drank all the milk so children which cat drank all the milk thirst uh, hungry okay so here adjective used for cat is h u n g r y hungry okay look at number two dash fruits are good for us which fruit are good for us answer is f r e s h fresh fresh fruits are good for us number three rajat likes dash milk so rajat likes h o t hot milk what is the adjective used for milk here h o t hot number four only a dash person can lift heavy things so a person who can lift heavy things adjective for him is s t r o h g strong only a strong person can lift heavy things okay number five lena is wearing a dash dress so here adjective for dress is new n e w new lena is wearing a new dress okay children now we will revise question b it is on page number 21 number three a question is rewrite the following sentences using the adjectives given in brackets at suitable places so children some adjectives are given to you in a bracket you have to use them in a sentence and rewrite them okay let us see number three these are apples adjectives given for apples is sweet so children now we will rewrite it using sweet okay so it will become these are sweet apples so children here describing word for apple is sweet okay now look at number four this is a doll word given in bracket is lovely okay we will rewrite it as this is a lovely doll so children here describing word or adjective we use for doll is lovely okay number five the boy drank all the water word given in a bracket is thirsty now we will rewrite it using word thirsty the thirsty boy drank the thirsty sorry the thirsty boy drank all the water so children we have learned about different adjective words here sweet lovely and thirsty okay so here thirsty word is used for boy okay now children we will move to our next question question C it is on page number 21 and 22 
page 21 question C children now we will revise question C it is on page number 21 fill in the blanks by choosing suitable adjectives from those given in brackets so children what you have to do here you have to fill the blank with suitable adjectives and adjectives are given to you in a bracket you have to choose the correct one or suitable one and fill in the blank okay now look over here first one has been done for you look at number three respecting elders respecting elders is a dash habit adjectives given to you in bracket is good and bad so children here you have to choose between good or bad okay so let us read the sentence again respecting elders is a dash habit so children we should respect elders yes so correct or suitable adjective word here is good okay respecting elders is a good habit now children look at number five when it rains when it rains the roads get dash adjective word given to you are dry and muddy so children you also love to enjoy in rain so when it rains how what is the condition of the road road becomes dry or muddy roads become muddy due to water okay so correct adjective here is muddy m u double d y muddy when it rains roads become muddy okay now look at number six in winter okay children now we will revise question d it is on page number 22 So question D is rewrite the sentences using the opposites of the underlined adjectives. So children there are some sentences are given to you and in this sentence one word is underlined. You have to rewrite the sentence using opposite of that underlined word. Okay. Look at number 3. The man I'll read it for you. The man in a blue shirt is rich. Underlined word is rich. Okay, R I C H rich. Opposite of rich is poor. So we will rewrite it using word poor. Okay. The man man the man in a blue short is poor so children you have to remember spelling very properly okay spelling of poor is p double o r poor okay learn all the spellings very carefully now children look at number four number four is Shilpa has long black hair. Underlined word is long. Opposite of long is short. Okay. What is opposite of long? Opposite of long is short. 
we will rewrite using words short now shilpa has short black hair okay opposite of long is s h o r t short okay now children look at number e now we will revise question e it is on page number 22 and 23 22 and 23 question e okay question is write one word for the following phrases choose the answer from the box below so children some phrases are given to you you have to choose the suitable word for that phrase and some words are given to you in a box words given to you in a box are courageous greedy sandy costly well mannered and creamy these all are describing words or adjectives okay we have to use for some of the phrases number 1 is something that cost a lot so children the, uh, the thing which cost a lot we called it as costly okay spelling of costly is c o s t l y costly something that cost a lot costly okay so children now look at number 2 number 2 is someone who shows a lot of courage so children a person who is having lot of courage we called it as courageous okay spelling of courageous is c o u r a g e o u s courageous again spelling of courageous is c o u r a g e o u s courageous okay now look at number 3 a cake full of cream so children a cake which is full of cream we called it as creamy spelling of creamy is c r e a m y creamy spelling of creamy is c r e a m y creamy now children look at number 4 a person full of greed a person who is full of greed we called it as greedy okay spelling of greedy is g r e e e d y greedy okay now look at number 5 a beach full of sand a beach which is full of sand we called it as sandy spelling of sandy is s a n d y sandy okay now look at number 6 Number six is someone who has good manners. So, person who is having good manners, we called it as, we called it him or her as well mannered. Okay, spelling of well mannered is W E L L well M A L N E R E D well mannered. W E L L well M A L N E R E D mannered. Well mannered. Now, children, we move. to next question question f we'll see it on dg board okay children now we will revise question f complete the adjectives all the words end in y so children here in this question all the adjectives ends with y okay number 1 is opposite of light so children what is opposite of light opposite of light is opposite of light is heavy h e a v y heavy what is spelling of heavy h e a v y heavy okay now number 2 not clean so children the thing which is not clean what you call it we called it as dirty so opposite of clean is dirty okay d i r t y dirty okay now number 3 is not difficult okay so children thing which is not difficult it is easy okay so spelling of easy is e a s y easy okay now number 4 a large number 
a thing which is large in number we called it as many okay so spelling of many is m a n y many number 5 is very small thing which is very small we called it as tiny okay spelling of tiny is t i n y tiny number 6 is not wet a thing which is not wet we called it as dry spelling of dry is d r y dry number 7 opposite of full so children what is the word we use for opposite of full opposite of full is empty okay spelling of empty is e m p t y m t spelling of empty is e m p t y m t okay children now we will revise question g it is on page number 24 look at number 2 number 2 is thick opposite of thick is thin spelling of thin is t h i n thin again spelling of thin is t h i n thin now look at number 5 Number five is old. Opposite of old is young. What is opposite of old? Opposite of old is young. Y O U N G young. Spelling of young is Y O U N G young. Now look at number seven. Number seven is long. Opposite of long is short. S H O R T short. Now look at number nine. Number nine is weak. Opposite of weak is strong. Spelling of strong is S T R O N G strong. Opposite of opposite of weak is strong. Spelling of strong is S T R O N G strong. Now look at number ten. Number ten is easy. Opposite of easy is difficult. Spelling is D I. Double F I C U L T difficult. Okay, again spelling is D I double F I C U L T difficult. Children, now we will revise question H. Children, now we will revise question H. It is on page number twenty-four. Question is write the names of the colors that are generally used to describe these things. So children, some things are given to you. You have to write correct color for them. Okay. Number one is leaf. So children, you have been to garden. What is the color of leaf there? Color of leaf is green. Okay. G R double E N green. Spelling of green is G R double E N green. Now look at number four. Number four is lemon. You have seen lemon in kitchen. What is the color of lemon? Color of lemon is yellow. Spelling is Y E double L O W yellow. Now look at number five. Number five is milk. M I L K milk. What is the color of or what is the color of the milk? Color of milk is white. So children, here we see that colors are also used to describe nouns. Okay. So children, now we will revise question I on D G board. Okay. Children, now we will revise question I. It is on page number twenty-four. Okay. Question I is. Some animals are described below. Read the clues and write the names of the animals in the blank spaces. Also, circle the adjectives in the sentences. So, children, some sentences are given to you with adjectives. So, you have to identify which animal we are talking about and fill in the blank. Okay. So, first one has been done for you. Number two is, it is a fierce animal. So adjective here is fierce. Underline the word, circle the word fierce here, children. Okay. It is 
strong and is called the king of the jungle. So children, here is a big hint for you. Who, which animal is called as the king of jungle? Yes, lion, okay. Underline one more adjective for lion. Strong, okay. It has thick golden hair on its head. Underline, uh, circle the word thick and golden it is which animal we are talking about we are talking about lion spelling of lion is l i o n lion okay so describing words or adjectives for lion are fierce strong thick and golden okay now children we will revise question 5 it is a huge animal okay circle the word huge okay it is one of the adjective word okay it has a long nose and big ears so children underline adjective word long adjective word big big it loves bananas and sugar cane it is an dash. So children, which animal is huge, has big ears and long nose and loves to eat bananas? It is an elephant we are talking about. So spelling of elephant is E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T, elephant, okay? So adjective words we use for elephant are huge, long, big, okay?